Hi, Violet here. I've noticed on YouTube lately that there has been a renewed interest in buttons, and especially vintage buttons. I've collected them all my life, so I have quite a collection. And recently, I made another button jar for a challenge and put it up with my other jars that match. I'll show you the one for the challenge. I found this neat jar with all these flat sides at a thrift store for a dollar and I thought it was really neat. It has a metal snap-on lid and I put a hole in the middle of the lid so that I could screw this little handle, crystal handle on. And then I copied the Buttons logo. It's on Pinterest. I've used it before. I filled it with my white and cream buttons. I glued some buttons around the edge of the jar put a little mini pair of scissors and a little spool of thread, glued some other things on the front, some rickrack on the bottom, and then I put a little doily here. I put the middle through the, the center screw that goes into the crystal knob, and I glued buttons all around the little edges. Sorry, I was a little too close there. So this button jar was my entry into a challenge, and I was quite pleased how it turned out. And then I did a little mini buttons label and put it on the top with a little flower. But I have done other ones with that same logo before in the past when I sorted all my buttons. So I have them up here on this shelf. I'll just see if I can get in a little closer. Okay, no, I guess I can't right now, but anyways, because I've got my camera in a precarious angle. But there's my button area. I have other buttons, but these are the ones that I have on display or up on this cupboard. And I've got vintage little milk, milk jugs and sealers and different things. These are some, a little card of very vintage buttons made in Canada. They're really cute. See, these are those little milk jars, and then I've got some of those little containers. This here button here, card of buttons, is very vintage too, and it's Art Nouveau, and it's just, I left it just the way it is. I don't want to use them. Um, over here, I have a container I found at a garage sale, and there's a little teapot that someone's covered with buttons. So I have that on there. And I have a lot of carded buttons. Some of them are vintage, like that one, his latest style buttons. All kinds of buttons. It's fun sometimes just to look through here and just see what there is. There's all kinds in there. And I do have some special vintage buttons tucked away that I'm not going to show. So this goes back here. That's my button area. I also have a little card of buttons that's really special to me and they're called Exquisite Imported Genuine Jet Buttons made in West Germany. So jet was a special kind of glass. I'll have to look up the meaning what it's made from but I've got another little jar, little container with a lot of jet buttons in there, black ones all kinds of special little ones. They're just so beautiful. I'm not into black a lot, but they're just really glossy and there's a whole set of them. I can't even remember where I got these all because it's been a lifelong collection I'm, and I'm a thrift store a holic and a garage sale person. So there's lots of nice ones in here and I usually just put some of these little jars there, but I moved them so that's my button collection, and I have some more in here, some different black ones. I uh, found that image on, like I say, Pinterest, that one that says buttons, and it printed out so nice. I did it in black and white there, and I did it in colors there. So that's my button entry for a challenge and my button collection or some of it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Have fun with your buttons. It's nice to see a renewal of the simple little button, but it's such an important little item, the button. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.